I am sailing. Oh, you guys are there. It's happening now. It's happening again. Wow. Welcome to the lesson today. You are fifth graders. I'm glad you're here with me, Howie Gordon, and we're going to start right now. What are we going to do today? Well, we will visit a park. We will chant, which means we're going to sing without music. We will visit a photo gallery. We will see lots of funny pictures. We will also read a story about grandma. Can you understand short, simple descriptions of familiar places? Can you tell me about things that you know, that you recognize? And can you use words to describe what is happening in the picture? Well, we're going to check that. And if you can't do that now, perhaps you can do it by the end of the lesson. I've got two funny little things to tell you in the beginning. But before we get there, what do you need for today's lesson? Well, you need pencils, you need colored pencils, and you need paper. Go and get them. I'll keep on singing. Go on, I'll keep on singing. I love singing. I am sailing, I am sailing. Across the waters, across the sea, I am sailing, I am sailing. Oh, I love singing, and I love playing with words, and I love playing with English grammar and language. But I'm just talking while you guys go and fetch your things. You've probably got it, because this isn't the first time you sing an online lesson. So I'm sure we can start. So remember, I said we're going to talk about two funny things? Well, here they are. Number one, I am friendly with all of the letters except one. I'm friendly with all of the letters except one. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Do you get it? I'm sure you got it. Okay, let's read the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H I J K L M N O P Q R S T V W X Y Z. What's missing? I can't see you. Ha <laughs> ha! I can't see you. Do you get it? There's no you. I can't see you. And I really can't see you, but I know you're there. And let's get ready. We're going to the park. <clears throat> Have a look at the park because we're going to play a memory game. So remember, look at all the people in the park. We've got Pat, who's talking on the phone. We've got the girls who are eating ice cream. We have the pupils working. We have a policewoman who's walking her dog. And the dog is barking at the cat. We have boys playing basketball. Nir is on his bicycle and Bob is running. Have a look at the picture. Take a minute to look at the picture and then we'll go on. Who is doing what in the park? Look at all the different things in the picture. Look at the different colors. Look at the different animals, the different people. Look at the children playing sport. Look at the children working. Now close your eyes and see if you can picture the park. Because remember, it's a memory game. You have to remember what you saw in the park. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Write yes or no. Bob is riding a bike. Yes or no? The girls are eating ice cream. Yes or no? The boys are playing soccer. Yes or no? Do you remember the pupils learning in the corner? There are six pupils studying. Yes or no? The policewoman is walking a cat. Yes or no? 
Nir is talking on the phone. Yes or no? Okay. Are you ready to check the answers? Let's go. So, let's look at the picture again. It's a little small, but it's, I'm sure you'll be able to see it because you remember still with uh, the looking at the picture in the beginning. So, is Bob riding a bike? No, he's not riding a bike. Near is riding a bike. Are the girls eating ice cream? Yes, the girls are eating ice cream. Are the boys playing soccer? No, the boys are playing basketball. Are there six people studying? Yes, there are six people studying. Is the policewoman walking a cat? <laughs> no, she's walking a dog. And is Nir talking on the phone? No, he's not. Pat's talking on the phone. How did you guys do? Did you do well? I'm sure that you did well. Let's go on. We're going to chant a silly little chant that I wrote, but I think it's really a lot of fun. Now, when you chant, you chant with me. I am smiling. I am smiling. I'm smiling right now. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. I'm not crying at the moment. And I want to see you use your hand and show me that you're not crying. Are you ready? We'll do that again. I am smiling. I am smiling. I am smiling right now. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. I'm not crying at the moment. He's walking and she is knitting. They are busy right now. He is not crying. She's not crying. And they are not crying at the moment. Who is crying? They are dancing. They are dancing. They are dancing right now. They are not crying. They are not crying. They are not crying at the moment. The baby is crying right now. The baby is crying right now. Oh, I can hear it. The baby is crying right now. Did you like that chant? I think it was lovely. Okay, we're now going to a strange photo gallery. Can you guess what is happening in this gallery? What is happening in the picture? Look at the picture and see if you can see what is happening in the picture. I'm sure you want me to move the camera, but I'll move the camera in a second. What is happening in the picture? Is a woman eating a hamburger? Is a woman rowing a boat? Is a woman knitting? Have a look. Did you guess correctly? Ella is taking a selfie. Funny selfie. Let's look at the next picture. Can you guess what is happening in this gallery? Is the woman dancing? Is the woman singing? Is the woman watching TV? Can you guess what's in the picture? Have a look. Have a look. Let's move the camera and Karen is wearing a mask. Stop. Say no to the COVID virus. Let's go to the next picture. Can you guess what is happening in this gallery? What do you think is happening with this little girl? Is she singing? Is she running? Is she jumping? No, the little girl, her name is Gali, and she's pointing at the trees. Those trees over there. I'm standing in front of them. Last picture. Can you guess what is happening in the picture? We have a picture of a park. Perhaps someone is playing in the park. Someone is riding in the park. Someone is running in the park. 
No, it's me, Howie. Howie is working on his computer in the park. Howie, the computer is the wrong way round. Oh, that's why I couldn't really work. Okay, so that is why the, the, the gallery is very strange. Let's go on. Okay, so I'm going to draw your attention to the blackboard. And I want to, I need your help with something. All the sentences that you saw had a very similar structure. We started with a pronoun, for example, I, and then we had what's called the helping verb, I am, and then we had the verb play, and then we added something to the play. What did we add? Ing! We added I. N G. And that is how we are going to structure all the sentences from now on. Why? Because we're talking about what is happening right now, at the moment. The baby is crying at the moment. I am playing at the moment. I am writing on the board. I am looking at the camera. I am playing. What about he? Well, he, I'm sure you're shouting it out. How we write is, write is, you write. It is. He is writing on the board. And what about they or you? They are watching. They are watching TV. Remember, every sentence must start with a big letter and a full stop or period at the end. Okay, did you get that? So that is how we are going to write our sentences in the, the what's called present progressive, meaning what is happening now. I sometimes like to shorten it and say P, P, now. Okay, are you ready? Let's go on. So today is Friday and we are visiting our grandparents. Grandpa is watching TV. Grandpa is watching TV. And Grandma is drinking coffee. Right now, Grandma is telling me a story about herself. And she is knitting. Okay, are you ready for the story? So let's listen to the story. I'm knitting a jumper. I'm knitting. Why don't you say I knit? That's the present tense in English. Because there are two present tenses in English. And when we're talking about things we're doing right now, we use the present continuous. You try. What are you doing now? Well, I'm still on the sofa. I'm talking to you and I'm watching you knit. Good. So, when do we use the present simple? Well, for things that we do every day, every week, or every month. Tell me what you do every morning. I wake up, I get dressed, I eat breakfast, I brush my teeth, I feed Hero the hamster, and then I go to school. Well done! Oh, I remember when I was a girl, Hey, you're not listening. <laughs> Look, Gran, Hero is playing with your knitting. <laughs> oh no, what a mess. So, we are back. We're now going to read the story. And if you want, when this lesson is over, you can go back to this part and do a dialogue with someone else. You can dress up as Kitty, or you can dress up as Gran and you can play the parts. I will try and do it in two voices, and let's see how it goes. Gran, what are you doing? Oh, I'm knitting a jumper. I'm knitting? Why don't you say I knit? That's the present tense in English. Because there are two present tenses in English. And when we're talking about these things we're doing right now, 
we use the present progressive. You try. What are you doing now? Oh, Grand, well, I'm sitting on the sofa and I'm talking to you and I'm watching you knit. Good. So, when do we use the present simple? Well, for things we do every day, like every week or every month. Tell me, what do you do every morning? Well, I wake up and I get dressed and I... Oh, I forgot my voice. Well, I wake up, I get dressed, I eat breakfast, I brush my teeth, I feed Hero the hamster and then I go to school. Well done. Oh, I remember when I was a little girl. Hey, you're not listening. Look, Gran, Hero's playing with your knitting. Oi they, what a mess! Look what the hamster did to all the wool. It made such a mess. Well, that's the story. And I hope you enjoyed the story. And I showed you a little difference between what's happening now, which we write like this, and what happens when we write about things that happen all the time in present simple. But today we're dealing with this. Present progressive means things that are happening right now. So go for it. What you're going to do is you're going to write the word under the picture and this relates to the story that we just read. Have a look at the words. You've got knit, jumper, sit, sofa, talk, wake up, get dressed, eat breakfast, brush my teeth, and go to school. Go for it. Okay, we're going back to live and count with me. Five, four, three, two, one. It's happening now. I'm going to give you the answers. Let's see how you guys did. So number one, eating breakfast. Number two is knit. Number three, go to school. Number four, jumper or jersey. Number five, get dressed. Number six, sofa. Number seven, brush my teeth. Number eight, talk. 
Number nine, wake up. And number 10, sit. Let's have another look at the pictures. Okay, let's look. I want you to try and make sentences by yourself with the pictures. Let's look at knit. What kind of sentences can you make with this format, with this structure? Perhaps she is knitting, I am knitting, I am going to school, I am walking to school, I am talking, I am brushing my teeth, I am sitting, I am waking up, she is waking up, he is waking up. You get the idea? And these are the kind of sentences you can make when you're talking about things that are happening right now. So what I want you to do right now is go and look on the internet and find pictures of your favorite stars, your Instagram stars, your YouTube stars. Look what they are doing and say to people around you, what are they doing now? For example, Justin Bieber is singing a song. Noah Kirill is standing in the line. Go for it. Make some sentences up using this structure. We've got a helping verb, verb and ing. Helping verb, verb and ing. Let's see if you can make up some sentences. I'm here and I'm going to keep throwing out some sentences. So don't go away. Just look on your phones or look on the computer for your favorite, favorite internet stars and see what they're doing now. Okay? Look at what... Uh, Selena Gomez is doing. Or perhaps you like Disney characters. Have a look what Mickey Mouse is doing in the picture. Or Donald Duck. Look all over the internet for your favorite characters. Okay, you've got another minute and a half. Go for it. Okay, I'm sure you made amazing, amazing uh, discoveries and you found some amazing things. I wish you could tell me what you found. You know what, if you shout loud enough, I might be able to hear. Don't be silly. There's no ways I could hear you. Okay, so let's go back and chant again. Because I think things have changed. It's very, very quiet where I am. I am smiling. He's walking. She's knitting. And they are dancing right now. Can you hear the baby? Can you hear the baby? Shh. The baby is sleeping right now. Yay. No more crying and only sleeping. Okay, are you ready for a great, great challenge? Here we go. What I'd like you to do, please, is take a selfie of yourself doing something. Write what you're doing in the picture and send it to this email. Am I doing now five at gmail.com? I gave you an example on the board. I am holding balloons. So what I want you to do is take a selfie of yourself 
doing something can be crazy, write what you're doing in the picture or on the picture and send it to this email. I want to see what you're doing and I'll make sure to enjoy every picture that you send. I want you to send the pictures as soon as you can to amidoingnow5 at gmail.com. Okay? Go for it. You've got two minutes to take the selfie, write on the picture and send it to me. So, I'm sure that you took a selfie of yourself, well done, and I'm sure you wrote in the, on the picture what you're doing in the picture. Brilliant, guys, and if you haven't sent it yet, send it to now or amidoingnow5 at gmail.com. Don't forget the five, otherwise I won't get it. Okay, so what did we learn today? Well, we visited a park. Do you remember the park we went to in the beginning of the lesson? We chanted about the baby crying and the people dancing. We visited a very strange photo gallery and we read a story about grandma and her knitting. Now, do you remember the questions that I asked you at the beginning of the lesson? The things you can or can't do? Well, I'm sure now you can write these sentences in your notebooks. I can understand short, simple descriptions of familiar places like the park, like my grand's house, and I can use words to describe what is happening in the picture because we did sentences like that. Remember the <clears throat> helping verb, the verb, and the ing. Don't forget the ing. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to give you a bonus activity for those of you that finished and made sure that everything's okay. What you need to do is go into Google and type in Hebrew or in English, Ofek. Once you've done that, look for Ofek in Google, go into Ofek, go in with your personal password and username, and then look for one moment around the world. And you will find lots of nice activities that children are doing all over the world. And you get to learn about countries and you get to practice the present progressive. Remember, present progressive is what we're doing now. Okay, guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for being at What Is Happening Today. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.